you have to crane your neck to get a good look at the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel. But most tourists are rushed to marvel at Michelangelo's Renaissance masterpiece. Awe overcomes the temporary discomfort. After four years of back and neck breaking toil, his work was unveiled on the 31st of October in the year 1512, 500 years ago. Mm -hmm. Antonio Paolucci is the director of the Vatican Museums. Five centuries ago, the Pope uh, Julius II entered inside Cappella Sistina and can see the vault of Sistina completely painted by Michelangelo. The great work, the terrible work, was uh, finished. It was an act of almost unrivaled artistic creation. Michelangelo considered himself first and foremost a sculptor and looked down on painters of frescoes. But Pope Julius II's invitation to paint the 5,000 square foot ceiling of the chapel was one Michelangelo, 33 years old at the time, could hardly refuse. In essence, he was learning on the job. The Sistine Chapel is where cardinals meet for the conclave to choose the next pope, where popes conduct baptisms and special prayers. In the last half millennium, it has survived wars, political upheavals, and inclement weather with surprisingly little damage. Just one section of the fresco depicting the biblical flood is missing. In 1797, it fell to the floor following a massive explosion in the nearby Castel Sant'Angelo. Today, the greatest threat to this priceless art comes from those who flock to admire it. About five million people visit the Sistine Chapel every year. That means five million people with sweat, with heat, with dust. The number of visitors is expected only to grow in coming years. The Vatican is planning to upgrade the current climate control system for the chapel, but officials are hesitant to turn tourists away. It's not uh, possible in this moment uh, to limit the number of visitors of the Catholic that, that, uh, that uh, uh, won't enter in Cappella Sistina from uh, all countries of the world. Michelangelo returned in 1535 to paint the last judgment on the chapel's wall. It took five years to complete this work. A work art lovers no doubt hope will remain intact until Judgment Day. Ben Wiedemann, CNN, in the Vatican City.